Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. My name Nur Atika binti Tazo Azhar. I am UTEM student from class 4 BTEM M section 2. Now I want to present about the team concept. What is a team concept? A team is a formal group in which there is a high level of interaction among group members who work intensely together to achieve a common goal. Successful leadership needs have to first comprehension of group conduct. It means that to become the successful leadership, we must to understand group behavior so that we can achieve the goals in our teams. Second, ability to draw on teams' constructive strength. It's more about how to construct the power of team building. For example, we must have training, get the right people, prepare the team leader, and etc. Next, to create the excellent team, we must know the clear mission. For example, in marketing teams, they must to achieve 10,000 products that they have to clear it in one month, so that they also must have trust their team to achieve their missions. We also must have a lot of discussion to achieve the mission. It's not only discussion in formal meeting, but we must to have the informal discussion to become the excellent team. In the team, we must to become the effective leadership, which means that not easy to say yes and okay if there are any solution or new idea from other people. We must to think wisely before make the right decision. And the last one is about commitment in our team. It is because the teamwork will make others easier in their work and it will achieve the clear mission in our life or our business. Now, we go to positive versus negative group member roles. Each member of team can play one or more role and their role can change throughout the life in the team. These roles can affect the teams positively or negatively it depending on when and for what extent they are using. Team members should look for and criticize ideas constructively but every idea has negative consequences through oversight and section. Pension release can spread anxiety and improve productivity as well as joking and coordinated distraction, but can become distraction when poorly used. So, the negative roles and the positive roles are important in the group member. Next, what is the group roles that boost performance? Firstly, it's about encouraging. It helps people make contribution to fulfill their potential. For example, the team spirit at the workplace. We must to support each other in the teams so that it will build the best performance in our team. Second is about clarifying. It's create order out of chaos and replace confusion with clarity, such as if other people became confused in their work or their task, as a leader, we must to explain what needs to be done so that our team better understand the solution that they must to settle it. Third is about harmonizer. It combines differences between people, such as for ways to reduce stress and analyze a situation through further explanation or using humor. Fourth. Idea generator. It suggests idea that others do not do it. For example, Kowei. They doing their marketing by doing sanitize at people's house. After that, they promote their new product to the household. Fifth, ignition key. It's orchestrate the facilitates the group work. It means that the belief in the teamwork and make the work easier is due day by team so that it's easy to others to achieve the mission. The last one is about the details specialist. It search for errors and omissions and keeps the group on the red alert. It means that the detail specialist is the most important in the team. The person of the team will always be careful when making decisions so as not to make mistakes that will burden their teams. Teams are unique, dynamic complex and ever-changing. That's word from Ken Ventures. That's all from me. Thank you.